Okay, I'm going to show uh, this double core unum and a temperature rise. First, let me slide my uh, my Pan of Ice brand 1960s vintage pocket typewriter tripod over. I'd like to turn my radio off. So let's talk about this before we get on to the Union. 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 I need my pointer. Now, we could use that end. But in case Buzz 1151 happens across this video, I chose that end. I built that for you, Buzz. Note, 10 meter band. The 10 meter band is not dead. It opens all the time. You want proof? Go get your CB radio and listen to the DX pour in from the West Coast. And the propagation doesn't stop at California, folks. Nope. CW? I highly recommend learning CW if you don't know. You don't have to anymore. Thank God. Um, this isn't the old world anymore. But it's a blast, and I, it's given me so much pleasure in my life, I can't begin to tell you. And we're in the extra portion of the band. It's not that hard. I've seen 10-year-old little girls with extra class tickets. Enough said. I want to make this go away. Okay, now then, since I'm using my pocket typewriter to record this uh, movie, <laughs> uh, I can't use the timer, the stopwatch. So, I set my dear uh, computer to display seconds, okay? Oh, boy. System update suggested. Let's see what Mint suggests. System D, huh? Yeah, probably should. Chromium browser. Psst. Okay, zoom you back out. This. Tip you down, things might get bumpy here, kids. This is the thermometer I'm using, if we can get a view of it. Probably out of focus. So, fluke, set the degree of Fahrenheit. So, don't give me any shit about my car running above the boiling point of water. You can give me shit about anything else, just not that, right? So, this is a very highly unscientific empirical approach to testing. I want to zoom you in. Tip you back. And nope, I'm not using a K thermocouple bonded to the core with a thermal transmission material. What I am going to do though is touch this probe to this bare area of the car for a moment. We'll see what the car temp is. I guess I could switch the meter to the correct range which is millivolts DC. My room's pretty warm right now so the temperature of this car is probably cooler than the room. But it's, it's pretty much stabilized, right? 76. Oh, I hit the hit my pocket typewriter with my chin. We'll call it 76.7. Okay, I'm gonna write that down on an actual real piece of paper. Oh, I forgot we need this radio. Man, get old. And what I'm going to do, 
I chose the 40 meter band for this test. Note the frequency. Think I'm going to drop a 100 watt carrier <laughs> down in the CW portion of the band? Nah, there's better places to annoy. Nothing heard. Anyway, that's a little little bit above where the uh, FT heads like to do their thing. So, yeah, okay. I'm gonna tip you down. Things are on an angle, but that's okay. My brain's on an angle. If I try to fix it, I'll just make it worse. All right. So we'll look at the power setting. Hundred watts. And you'll see it on the display. Uh, correct antenna is selected. One other thing I'd like to point out before I drop the monster carrier. <laughs> 100 watts to me is a monster carrier. I would say just do it all your friends are. Well, it's kind of true, but I'm not. I like QRP. What I have on this Unun is right now, um, this double core Unun, that's the 4 to 1 tap, 9 to 1 tap, 16 to 1 tap, the 25 to 1 tap is hidden behind the zip tie, 36 to 1. Folks can use their 49 to 1 <laughs> uh, single Z ratio Ununs all they want and claim flat SWR across the band, every band from DC to daylight. It's because you're transmitting into a dummy load, man. I hate to tell you. <laughs> Your Q is so god-awful low. <laughs> anyway, um, to some extent that's true, but not really. I mean, it's not very nice of me. Um... But look at your end pad half wave for A, if it's 43 feet long, it's not a half wave of wire. It's electrically a half wave. Yeah. yeah. Whoop, there go the probe. They go to the probe. Anyway, let me shut up. So I'm looking at my stopwatch and we're gonna well let me make a dit test. Okay, 1.2 to 1, right? Listen again. As if an FT head knows what CW sound. Well, he knows what it sounds like. He just doesn't know what I just sound. And even if he did, he doesn't care if I asked at the frequencies. And he's, he's going for it. Okay, anyway. Enough, enough of that. Um, I'm knocking things over because I'm nervous. I'm nervous I'm going to set the house on fire. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm looking at the stopwatch. 1920. There we go. This is the most exciting part of the video because I'm going to shut up. Got 20 more seconds to go. You'll notice that the SWR has poked its li uh, beautiful little head up from 1.25 to 1 to about 1. Point, uh, no, I'm wrong. It was 1.15 to 1. Now it's 1.25 anyway. We're coming up on the 1 minute point. 18, 19, 20. Okay. And I've noticed in the past... Man, I smell something hot. I hope it's just like me, my armpits. The normal odiferous delights in my shack. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah. It takes just a few seconds. I mean, when you stop transmitting, the core is going to continue to rise in temperature for a minute. And probably about that long, too. Probably about a minute. Um, I have the feeling the heating starts in the center of the core, then starts working its way out, and 
one minute isn't very long, honestly. To drop a dead carrier it is, unless you're running a digital mode or something. Um, I don't know too much about digital modes. Don't know anything about them. So, like, I don't know. I assume you're, drop, you're transmitting a full power carrier that's modulated. Ha, who knows? Okay. Um, so it was 76.9 degrees. We'll see what it reads now. I'll hold this on here. So ignore my thumb. Keep an eye on the thermometer. I suggest instead. Although my hand's nice looking, and it is tempting to watch my hand shake. So that's a pretty good carrier. It's a real small Anun. Quite frankly, it's not an FT240 core. Just little FT140 cores. They're cheap, small. And I found that by bonding two of them together, this, this thing handles everything a 100 watt class transmitter can put out. I don't care what mode, I don't care how long you're transmitting. You could probably transmit a 100 watt carrier indefinitely into this. I'd try it, but I don't want to torture my radio. On the other hand, this transceiver, this FTDX3K, it's got a little problem, and I'm going to ship it back to Yesu for a repair, and before I do that, I'm going to torture the shit out of this thing. Okay, so we got 89.4. It's pretty stable. I'm going to call it 89.4. Okay. I don't know. You do the math. Hang on. Okay, back you back out. So that's my uh, empirical temperature rise test. <laughs> and lest anybody tell me to go kill myself because of my mathematics. A, I'm pretty good in math. B, I'm not stupid. I'm not as stupid as I used to be anymore. There's no denying it. The test ended up at 89.4. It began at 76.9. Temperature difference, 9.5 degrees. It rose just under 10, we'll call it 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not bad for a small onion, a small union. Maybe an onion would cook, but my union? Mm -mm. And when I do these tests, you know, numbers are numbers are liars. They're lying little bastards. So what I like to do is just this is a real subjective test, but you know what? I've done a hundred watt carrier test on an FT two forty core and I you know I can measure all day long but in the real world that's gonna tell me right there whether that that on on or that balance um, that common mode choke, whatever it is you're running. Whether the core, how much power is the core absorbing? How efficient is uh, NFED halfway? Well, um, transmit a, a carrier. Stress stress the onion, the ballon, whatever you're running. Stress it a little bit. Force it to absorb some power, and then use your judgment. If you're transmitting 100 watts for five minutes into this core, into this auto transformer, and you're not heating it, your power is going out. Your power isn't heating the core. It's going somewhere, and it's not going back into. It's not going that way toward the radio. If it was, you'd know it. Radio would complain. SWR, go infinite. Anyway, that's the test. What do you like sliding around a desk on a uh, vintage Panavice printed circuit board clamp? Which, by the way, is a blessing. Let's look at this month's cover of electronics. Illustrated magazine. That's some pretty cool stuff. That's very cool stuff. Anyway, 
Adiós, amigos.